In this After Effects video, we're going to talk about four trendy motion graphic techniques that you can use in any After Effects project. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So a few weeks ago, we did a video on four great motion graphic techniques, which is similar to this video, but that focuses on more accent you know, animations, and this is gonna be more trendy accent animations. It's a continuation. So after watching this video, go ahead and check out that last four great motion graphics technique video for even more tips. That link will be in the video description. But in this video, we're gonna talk about these four trendy motion graphic techniques that can be employed for you know title sequences or anything that involves motion graphics just to help enhance your scene. So for our first motion graphic technique, we're gonna talk about creating a wig animated line. Okay, so here we are inside of After Effects and the first graphic we're going to work on is the animated zigzag. So this is very easy to do. What we're going to do is come here to the top and grab the pen tool. Then click on the word fill, set it to none, click OK, and click on the word stroke and set it to solid color. Click OK. And from here you can change the size of the stroke. We'll keep it at 7 for now. And all we're going to do is we're going to click a point down here, it doesn't really matter where it's at. Hold down shift on your keyboard and just draw out a straight line like this, should be nice and small. And you should be good to go. From here, what we're going to do is we're going to open up a shape layer one and we're going to click on add here and we're going to add a zigzag. Now we get these very nice zigzag path here like this and it doesn't do any animation. We can open up zigzag and we can decrease or increase the size. It's really up to you how much you want to do. You can change the rigids per segment and you can also set it to smooth, which kind of gets it rid of that zigzag feel. But there's that. And then what we're going to do from here is we're going to add and we're going to add a trim paths because we want to animate this. So come here at the beginning of our timeline. We'll open up trim paths one and we're going to go to the end percentage and set it down to 0%. Then we're going to add a keyframe for end and we'll move forward to say a second and then we'll set the end percent all the way to 100. And from here, what we'll do is go back just a few frames, add a keyframe for start. We'll go to maybe another half a second or so and we'll set the start percent all the way to 100%. Now we have this animated line like this and you, know, you can always start the start percentage a little bit later. And of course, select all your keyframes and make them easy. Ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So to make this a little bit more dynamic, what we could do here is actually go to edit, duplicate, we could duplicate the layer and we can just bring this downward here. So we have like a double line and look at that now we have like a double line in here like this and we come here and we can pre-compose it go to layer pre-compose and we can call it zigzag and now we can like duplicate this around our composition offset it in time and if you want easily want to change the color go to effect generate fill so now we have these zigzag animations to add a little bit more detail to our composition so our first motion graphic technique talked about a wiggled line this time we're going to take a line and we're going to create a spiraled line so next up on our list is creating the spiral. Grab the pen tool again, and you can have the fill off, the stroke on. And then all we're gonna do here with the pen tool is the same thing we did with the zigzag, add a point. Hold down shift on your keyboard to draw out a straight line and add that other point. And you get a straight line like this. We'll open up this shape layer and we'll come here to add and we're gonna add a twist. And we'll open up the twist one and we can increase the angle. And now we get this little spiral like this. What we can do here is of course you can always change the stroke if you want. You know, depending on how thick you want that to be. And if you want to be a little bit more dynamic, you can add one of the path ends and you know increase this. We can go into the stroke one if you want, and where it says line cap, set it to round cap. And that'll round out the edges like that. So now we want to animate this, and we're gonna do this the same exact way we did with the zigzag. We're gonna add and we're gonna add the trim paths. So this is all the same way. We'll do our end at 0%. We'll move forward, set to 100%. And this time, instead of doing the start keyframe last here, what we'll do is we'll say we'll come here to like, you know, 13 frames or so, add a keyframe for start, and we'll move past about 13 frames past the end keyframe and set it to 100%. So now you just get like this animated path like this. It's kind of unique and, you know, it looks pretty cool. And then of course, make them all easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. So now you should have a little animation like this, and that's pretty cool. So. As always, you can reposition how we want this to be. All right, so now with our spirals and our zigzags, we now have this and adds obviously more detail to our overall composition. And so far, this is looking pretty cool rather than just having text animation. For our third trendy motion graphic technique, you may have seen this all the time, but it's simply an X animation that you have an X in there and you're gonna animate it. So next up on our list, we're gonna create the plus symbol and this is very easy to do. Just grab the textile tool, click here, 
and just hit plus on your keyboard. Right now we'll have a very congruent plus or X symbol. I'm using the typeface beat baz new. I'm sure pretty much any other typeface will work for this. You just need a congruent, you know, shape line like this. And from here we can animate this and do what we want. So we'll make sure our layer is selected, hit P on keyboard and hold down shift R so you can bring up position and rotation. And before we do any animation, take a look where the anchor point's at. We want this anchor point to be in the middle. So what we'll do is control double click the pan behind tool. So hold down control on your keyboard and double click this tool here at the top and that will put the anchor point right in the middle. So from here, we'll add a keyframe for position and rotation and we'll move forward to maybe a past a second and a half or so. And we'll grab the X position and we'll move this over to the right or left, depending how you want to animate it. Then we'll move back by just a few frames, maybe a half a second or so. And we'll set the rotation to about 90 degrees. It'll move over, it'll do like a flip and it'll continue to slide. It makes it a little bit more dynamic. And then what we can do here is go come here to the beginning of our timeline, hit S on our keyboard for scale and add a keyframe for that. Move that keyframe forward just by a few frames and bring the scale down to 0%. Boom. Now you get something like that. And then right when it stops sliding, we'll hit T on our keyboard for opacity. We'll add a keyframe for opacity. We'll move forward just by a few frames. We'll set down to 0%. We'll move forward by a few more frames, set up to 100%, move forward by a few more frames, set down to 0%. And this will add a nice flicker fade away to it. I'm gonna move all these keyframes in really quick. I don't, this is too slow for me. And here's the X animation along with the rest of our graphics and this is starting to come together. So I saved the best trendy motion graphic technique for last. And the fourth technique is gonna be a repeated shape. And for our last element, we're gonna work with a repeated shape. And what we'll do here, we can grab any shape here that we want. I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool. And this time we're gonna turn off the stroke Click OK and click on fill and we will turn that back on. So we're going to work with a fill color this time. We can change the color to whatever we want. And we're going to come here and just draw out a perfect circle of this we're going to work with. I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard to make sure that's perfectly circle. And make sure that the anchor point is in the center of your object. So we're going to do some scaling here in a second. We'll go to ellipse one, come here to the transform ellipse one, and then we'll come here and we'll set the scale down to 0%. Add a keyframe for scale, move forward to a second, set it up to 100%. So now you just get this animation in here, great. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this ellipse one. So you have ellipse one and two, bring the ellipse two underneath the ellipse one. And we'll hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes and we'll offset the second keyframes by just a little bit here, just by a few frames. And then we'll go back into our shape layer. We'll go to add and we'll add a merge pass. All right, from here, open up merge pass one, set the mode to subtract. Boom, now we have this hollowed out circle and it comes in full and it gets kind of enclosed from the center just like that. And that's pretty cool, right? And of course, you know, make all these keyframes easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And what this is gonna allow us to do is we can easily duplicate this shape, offset it in time by a little bit, duplicate it again, offset it. And now we have this repeated shape like this and you can use this with any other shape and we'll come here and we'll pre-compose it. Now here's our repeated shapes along with the rest of our other motion graphic elements in this one master composition. Creating motion graphics should be a lot of fun. However, it does take a lot of time and can be repetitive at times. I use a third party extension called Toko, which are pre-made motion graphic presets that I can apply to any After Effects project to help me save time when I'm doing a lot of repetitive work. So here's our extension right over here on the right and there's 750 motion graphic presets from typography to backgrounds to call out titles to lower thirds and uh, just to simple titles to infographics and even to logo reveals and so much more in this one pack. So we pretty much could have every motion graphic element that you need right here. So how this works is very simple. So let's say in this tutorial, we use shape elements. So let's say we wanted to work with an assortment of trendy animations. We can apply this basic shape lines by clicking it and it automatically applied this motion graphic preset to our playhead in our timeline just within a matter of a second. And then you can change the colors over here on the effects controls and you have full control over every motion graphic element in here. If we want, we can easily add, you know, new titles by going to the titles tab and finding a title that we would want. We'll add this one, click OK. And now we have our titles and our motion graphic elements that we added just in a couple of seconds. Whereas in this entire video, you know, we create these motion graphics in over a course of 10 minutes. So what you can do with an extension like this is take hours of work and compress it down to just a matter of minutes. And if you want to take a look at the rest of these 750 elements, go ahead and check our links in the video description and you can preview all these elements and see how you can use them for your own After Effects projects.
So there's our four trendy motion graphic techniques in this video. Be sure to check our links in the video description. It'll take you over to the next four great motion graphic techniques, which are more on the accent, you know, animations. So go ahead and check that link in the video description if you want to learn more about motion graphic techniques. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We do post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. Also, you can hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.